Hey there, hey there, Kingdom Kids. Miss Courtney here, and I'm back for another lesson. And it is Palm Sunday weekend. Palm, P A L M. I just had to spell it. Palm Sunday. This, um, th today's lesson is all about Palm Sunday, and we are just going to jump right into it. So on Palm Sunday, we remember when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. And I know some of y'all probably thinking like, a donkey? He rode in on a what? A donkey? We're going to get to it. But Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. And the Bible says that huge crowds were excited and waiting for him as he entered the city. When have you been a part of a huge crowd? Can you think of sometimes? What did it feel like? I'll give you one, and it just popped in my head. Oh gosh, years, years and years ago, um, I took my little cousin to the Pegasus Parade. Oh my gosh, you if you've ever been to the Pegasus Parade. It's just people everywhere. People everywhere. You're trying to get food. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse, uh, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shoot. Oh, and you're just going. And it was bananas. It was. It was. It was actually pretty crazy. But we found a really good seat. And I was very thankful to find one because she was getting tired of walking. And she just wanted to see the parade. So shout out to my cousin, Janaya. Hey, girl. Um, but that was exciting. Um, and then everybody cheering and yelling. It was just a good time. So if you thought of a time when you were a part of a huge crowd, go ahead and just get that in your brain and what it felt like. And I don't want to say how exciting it was because some people don't really like huge crowds. Some people, excuse me, for some people, huge crowds make them nervous. So, you know, it all depends on who you are and how you feel. So... We are going to jump into our lesson and I am going to read to you the story of Jesus entering Jerusalem as a king. And this comes from, <clears throat> excuse me, this comes out of the International Children's Bible from Matthew chapter 21. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 11. Jesus and his followers were coming closer to Jerusalem. But first, they stopped at Bethphage at the hill called the Mount of Olives. From there, Jesus sent two of his followers into the town. He said to them, go to the town you can see there. When you enter it, you will find a donkey tied there with its colt, its baby. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone asks you why you are taking the donkey, tell him, the master needs them. He will send them back soon. This was to make clear the full meaning of what the prophet said. <clears throat> Tell the people of Jerusalem, your king is coming to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. He is on the colt of a donkey. The followers went and did what Jesus told them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt to Jesus. They laid their coats on the donkeys and Jesus sat on them. Many people spread their coats on the road before Jesus. Just like if I was to take off this hoodie and just lay it down before Jesus. Others cut branches from trees and spread them all across the road. Some of the people were walking ahead of Jesus and others were walking behind Jesus. And all the people were shouting, praise to the son of David. God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise to God in heaven. You may even hear some people saying, Hosanna. So then Jesus went into Jerusalem. The city was filled with excitement and the people asked, who? is this man? The crowd answered, this man is Jesus. He is the prophet from the town of Nazareth in Galilee. <laughs> this was a big parade and Jesus deserved it. 
Remember how he had traveled all over Israel? And maybe not remember, but you've heard that Jesus, excuse me, performed tons of miracles, helping people and telling them about God's love. Now he was coming to the capital city, the most important city. Hello. And this was something the Bible had been promising for hundreds of years. Prophets from way back had already predicted that this was going to happen. And it was finally all coming together. And the people were going crazy just like they had won the Super Bowl or just if they had won the World Cup. Go! You know, they were just losing it, okay? So, but, sorry, sorry. Y'all know I'm silly. Anyway, um, but people were shouting and they were totally excited to see Jesus. So in your home, as long as, you know, you're not waking up anybody, repeat this after me. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And if you didn't do it loud enough, go on and back it up and do it again. Okay. So Jesus was fulfilling a prophecy. Remember we said that the prophets had foretold it way back. He was supposed to ride on a donkey's colt. That means a young donkey. Can you imagine being, I mean, an important king riding on a simple little donkey? I mean, what about big armies and fancy horses and, you know, go big or go home? You know, those things. You see, Jesus just wasn't a normal king trying to show how he show how he important he is and force everyone to love him. Jesus was the opposite. He came to show love and serve the people, which is what he did with his entire life. So, who are we praising this week? Jesus, you got it. And where is he from? Ooh, we're going to have to go back to the scripture for that one. Said he was from Na. And if somebody said Nazareth, you're right, which is in Galilee. Galilee, excuse me. Was he a rich king? Mm-mm. And why did he come? We just said it. He came to show love and serve the people. So here is what I would like for you to do other than go check out the Kingdom Kids Google site. Got a couple of activities there for you for Palm Sunday. But here's what I would also like, like for you to do. And of course, always send it to children at ssclive.org. Think about somebody you'd be excited to see in person. Think about somebody who you want to see in person. Now, I want you to tell if you treat that person the same as you would treat Jesus. Ooh, that's like an open response question. Get a person in your mind that you would like to meet in person and then tell if you would treat that person differently than how you would treat Jesus. Ooh, critical thinking here. But as always, we want to see, well, your thoughts, because we think you'd have to send it in to us, because this is viral, this is video. Um, but go ahead and check out the other things on the Google site and answer that question and send it in to children at ssclive.org. Children at ssclive.org. All right. Well, it's short and sweet because it's Palm Sunday. We're waving our palm branches. Wish I had one right next to me, but we're waving our palm branches and 
celebrating the King of Kings coming into Jerusalem. That is my time. But as always, before we go, let's pray. Dear Jesus, we love and we praise you. We thank you for just loving us and coming to love us and coming to serve us and just be amazing in our lives. God, I ask that you bless every home that um, can hear my voice and just every home period. Bless all of your children, dear God, those that know you in the pardon of their sins and even those that don't, God, because we want everyone to be blessed and loved and to know what it is and know how it feels to be blessed and loved by you. God, continue to keep our churches wherever they may be. And in everything and every day, we will make sure to give you all the glory, honor, and praise that you are so wonderfully due. And it's in your name that I pray. And everyone said with me, amen. All right, friends, that is my time. And I'll just, I'll be out of here. So two things, make sure you think of someone that you would like to meet and compare contrast school stuff and compare contrast um uh, and contrast how you would uh would you treat them differently would you treat uh that person and jesus the same we want to see that don't and don't forget to check out the google site got a couple of activities there for you to do and you can take pictures of it and send it in to children at ssclive.org that is all my friends until next time, I love you guys, and I'll see you around. Bye.